Welcome to Black and Gold Today, brought to you by Cadillac of New Orleans. I'm Rachel Whitaker. The Saints play the Houston Texans in Sunday's third preseason game and later in the regular season. Coach Sean Payton addressed that after practice today. With where we're at in camp right now, I think our focal point is really on our roster and, and the reps that our guys are going to be getting. Um, and then there's a pretty good chunk of time before we play him in the regular season. He's right. It's not till November 29th. But now the preseason's almost over and rookie quarterback Garrett Grayson knows his snaps will decrease. But that's not stopping him from perfecting his craft. That's something I just talked with with Griff about uh, Ryan Griffin quite a bit um, is how he handled it during the season. You know, you just and he's told me you just got to be mentally into it. Um, even though you're not physically getting the reps, you have to stand behind Drew and and say, you know, what the defense that you're seeing. Say, what are you going to do here? Um, if we have a check, you know, is it a check? Do you let it ride? Things like that. Um, you know, mentally you just have to be in it because that's the only kind of reps you're going to get. Um, that way, you know, when OTAs come around and fall camp next year, um, you'll be that much further along. Speaking of perfecting his craft, Saints receiver Brandon Cooks is ready to do the same. You know, I always think of the next person before I think of myself. Uh, so uh, when it comes to this offense and come to as a receiver, uh, I'm not always thinking about getting the ball first. Whatever it's going to do to help us win, whether it involves me or not, uh, I just want to win. And, that, and that's my mindset. What do you when we come back, we'll meet a Saints tight end and look ahead to Friday. What's one of the nicest things that comes with your new Cadillac from Cadillac of New Orleans? 0% interest. Get 0% interest on all new Cadillacs. Now at Cadillac of New Orleans. New owners, new attitude on Lime Street and Rye in Metairie. Today, we spoke for the first time with Saints tight end Chris Manhurts, who hadn't played a down of football before last December when Buffalo signed him. His college sport was basketball. Sound familiar? and the tight end said he knows it'll be tough to crack the Saints. You know, at this point now, I'm just really trying to get better every day and showing, showing these guys that I have something to stick around. You know, um, I'm not really trying to make comparisons or anything like that. I'm just trying to be the best football player and getting better every day. Here's Peyton on discovering basketball players. You know, a lot of those players you're not seeing at the college game necessarily in the traditional tight end formation. You know, so where is that athlete? Um, but I think teams are getting more comfortable and, and are looking at those type of programs, you know, and a lot of times it's, it's coming from a coach at the college they play for to the member clubs. Now on to Friday, the Saints will practice at Tulane's Yulman Stadium at 7 p.m. Sean Payton said he's excited about the location. We should have good weather. Um, logistically, you know, it's pretty, pretty easy to get over there. And uh, those guys have been practicing in our field house shoot for the last three years. I told CJ we can borrow your field for one night. <laughs> so, no, they, those guys were great in accommodating us. And Brandon Cooks added that the game-like atmosphere brings out the emotion of NFL Sundays. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, Ryan Griffin, old stomach ground. So I'm looking forward to uh, playing out there, practicing out there in front of those fans and, uh, and having a good time. That's all for Saints training camp here on Airline Drive. We'll see you again on Friday.